Hey guys, Tech Commentary with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the dictation is not working any longer. So dictation allows you to pretty much go ahead and do voice to text uh, typing or also allows you to kind of enable it to have text to speech as well on your phone. But it may not be working due to multiple reasons and we'll show you how to fix it by going through all the troubleshooting steps. So first thing is whenever you're having the issue is go ahead and check that your dictation is actually enabled. So you wanna go ahead into your settings, general, and then you'll go to keyboard here. And then once you go to keyboard, you'll notice here, if you go down, enable dictation, you wanna ensure that that is on, click on it on, and it should be like that. And if you already have it on, I recommend just turning it off just for a moment and then turn it back on. And the reason why we're doing it, just letting the phone know that if it was some software issue, hey, have this turned on and off. Kind of a quick little feature on and off. This or kind of restart. Now, after you have done that, the other thing you want to kind of go ahead and check is for the keyboard here. While we're in the settings, you're gonna go into keyboards here, and you'll add a language. So dictation ha happens for multiple languages. So if you're speaking a certain language that you want dictation for ensure that language is available as you can see your default is us but you can add other languages as well here so ensure that those languages are added here for your keyboard as well so that dictations can work now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is check out in the settings here so we're going to be in the settings this screen time option now you might not have this on if you don't use it but if you use it it's going to look like this if you don't use it you're going to just ignore this step here but essentially you're going to want to go to content and privacy restriction and once you do that let's say if you had it on like this right for example you want to check for allowed apps and you'll see here the option for siri and dictation now if this is turned off right like that that means you won't be able to use dictation any longer so you want to ensure that is on for you the other thing you can do is completely turn off content and restriction and check it out as well to see if that makes a difference for you now let's say you did this and it's not the issue what else could be the issue well the next thing you want to go ahead and check is in your battery of your phone ensure that your phone is not using low power mode and the reason why if it's on like this what it does is it reduces certain functionality of your phone to save battery generally You'll turn this on whenever the phone is under 20%. It will ask you if you want to turn it on, and you might hit OK, and it will turn it on for you. And your battery here icon will look a different color like this one, as you can see here. We're going to turn that off and see if you can use dictation. And the reason why it is, again, as we mentioned, you want to make sure the phone has the full performance battery to do all the functionality it needs to. Now, after you have done that and it's not working, the next thing you can do in settings here, if you have Bluetooth on, you know, I recommend turning it off for a moment and trying out dictation. The reason why it is, if you're connected to an external uh, speaker or microphone, it might be looking to get the input from that device and not the actual phone's mic here. And it's good to just turn it off and try it from there. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. It's time to check out to see if your mic, which are in the bottom of your phone most likely, are working as they should for your dictation and to do the test for that I recommend going into your voice memo for example and go ahead and try to record a voice memo so say testing testing and then you want to play it back testing testing and if it's working that means your mic is working and the reason why you want to do that is sometimes your mic not be might not be working for recording and such things and it's important to check and if that's the issue if your mic isn't working we have another video that you want to follow in terms of troubleshooting the mic itself here now after you have done that and still not working the next thing to do is a nice clean force restart so you're going to press the volume up and then volume down and then let go and then hold the side button just like that again that's volume up and down really quick one after another and then hold that side button just like this until the screen goes completely black and you're gonna wait for the Apple logo to reappear. And then we'll let go of that button. Again, volume up and then volume down. And then we're gonna hit that side button, press and hold till we see the phone kind of reboot itself. And that does is a clean reboot of the phone, reloading the code. So if there was any issue with the phone software, it should hopefully resolve it. This method will not delete any of your photos, videos, apps, and your personal data at all, but just gives a nice 
force restart and a force um, reloading the code. Now, after you're done that, it's not working. The next thing to do is go into your settings. And this time in the settings, what you will want to do is go ahead and uh, go for general here. And then go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to click on that. And then once you click on that, you'll click on the very first option for reset. And the reset that we want to do is reset all settings. But before you do that reset all settings, you have to understand what this does. This will reset things like your network settings, right? And you saved Wi-Fi or BPM setting will get reset. Things like keyboard dictionary, if you add a certain keywords, those will get reset. Home screen layout, if you have a custom layout, it's going to reset back to how it was originally and then reset any settings related with, with location and privacy settings as well. So these are gonna be some of the reset of the settings that will happen and can, is needed whenever you're having this issue. But the key thing here is when you do a, network, a reset of all settings, it will not delete your personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. All it's doing is resetting the settings themselves. Now after you have done that, uh, this will generally take about two to three minutes when you do click on that it will be pretty quick but for the sake of our video we're just not going to do that the next thing you also want to do if it's not working is again come back to your settings go to general software update and make sure that your phone is up to date with the latest software version you'll click on download and install and update it and this generally could take somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more and you're connected to a good strong wi-fi or cellular data the reason why i want to update the software is because if there's previous bug or issues causing the phone to not be able to leverage or use certain functionality this will resolve that and this is a go-to and a solution that apple will recommend as well so hopefully by now you're dictation on your iPhone is working after going through all the troubleshooting steps and I hope this video helped if so please make sure to like and subscribe button also leave a comment in the comment section whether good or bad and also if you found a better way to fix that issue as well so thanks for watching guys see you guys next time